Welcome to Good Mythical More. Um, let's study correlative energies. Correlative. Uh, you take an object, and then you take something else, and you say that they have the same energy. Yeah. Like toothpaste I believe and in a that. guy named Michael. Well, like Col Colgate, specifically. Col Colgate and Michael, according to TikTok. But first, uh, let's guess what this word means. Okay. Archmime, or is it archmimi? Like the word arch and the word mime. Arch. Well, this is the this is the mime that all mimes have to get permission from before they can become mimes. It's, it's like, you sure it's I, not the arch nemesis of mimes. Yeah. The arch mime? No, I think it's the I think it's the head mime. It's the big it's the big cheese. Yeah, you can't just start doing this without talking to yeah. the arch mime. If first. you are just in your bedroom acting like you're going downstairs for your like little brother or something. Yeah, the arch yeah. mime shows up and uh, injures you later that night. We agree, are we correct? Yes. Arch mime, a chief buffoon or jester whose job involved attending funerals and impersonating the deceased. <laughs> <laughs> really? Y'all remember, y'all remember what Link was like? Well, don't, you don't have to. I mean, if you think about it, before, Brought in an arch mime. Before video, before wow. there were video and pictures, all you had was somebody who was like, yeah, I, I remember him. I can kind of do him. I'll, I can, I'll, I can I'll, be the arch mime. Yeah. Wow, that's wild. Hold on. Hey, that's crazy. Right man. now, will you agree? Yes. That, yes. Right now, whatever it is, I'll agree to it. That at when Bo I die, both of our funerals, we will have impersonators. Wow. We will wow. find someone who is a good impersonator who will deliver the eulogy for the dead person. <laughs> I mean, think about that. Has that been done? There's a Link impersonator up there doing the eulogy for Link. I don't think he do, do the eulogy. I think he'd just be there to like greet to, people, to feel the um, the feelings of everyone. I think who's, he welcomes everyone inside. Sad. Hey, thanks for showing up <laughs> <laughs> for my funeral. He like never breaks character, but like he's not that great at it. He's I like actually cringy. think this is a really good idea. <laughs> I mean, bring back the art. Hasn't mind. been done. Wow, that's. I mean, it was a thing. That's wild. So, wild. okay, the the Michael toothpaste thing could be a little confusing. So for for everybody, let's let's watch the TikTok so that yes, you please. can kind of understand what's okay. going on. Okay, some people might disagree with me on this, but honestly, I don't care because it's the truth. Boys named Michael and Colgate toothpaste tubes have the exact same energy. They honestly kind of like look the same. Like, tell me that doesn't look like every person named Michael you've ever met in your entire life. <laughs> Jazzy jazz boy. It's funny how it seems convincing just because of the way he talks about well, it. Well, when I saw In this- In the low angle. I don't necessarily agree with that particular one, Colgate. but when I went I would say into Mark. the comment section, people started talking about this thing, like other things that remind them of other things or have the same energy as other things. Colgate and there Mark. were some in the comment section that I was like, yeah, I can totally, vibe with that. So basically, I'm going to give you a thing and a prompt as to, I should just give you the first one so you see what I'm talking about. So the first question is, yellow has the energy of what shape? So basically like yellow when you okay, think of I, it. I immediately, I immediately yeah, know. I mean, great. So write down what shape We need shape to write it down so we don't, um, okay. Triangle. Oh, that's it. Circle. Oh. Triangle. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely and these triangle. are all like comments from the comment section that had like a crap a, a ton yield, of likes. I was likes. thinking of the sun. Of likes. Yeah. You were thinking of a yield sign. I was thinking of the sun. Hmm. I wasn't thinking of the yield sign. What well, name? That's a yield sign. What name? Or not the yield sign. The, uh, has the same energy as hockey pucks. What name? What name? Um. Hockey pucks. Hmm. Okay. You're drawing the pucks? Just to kind of channel that energy. I mean, kind of lame, but I said Wayne. I said Doug. I guess because of Gretzky. I, I feel like both of those are better than the consensus, which was Jack. Jack, it kind of is percussive in a way that like pucks are puck cursive. You know, I, 
It's tough to know what the where the correlation is coming from because Puck and Jack have share two letters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's part of it. The CK of it all. Um. Okay, this is most people think that science has the same energy as what two colors. I science for me has a very specific color energy, but you can put science. two colors that most people associate with science. I don't know. You don't know? Yeah, there is a right answer. I said blue and blue and white. I said blue and yellow. So we agree on the blue. Are we right there with blue? Blue is right, but that's not the one that I immediately think of. Well, are you right? No, no one's right. It's you should be punished. Why is Stevie not being green. punished? Blue with... and green. I, blue Stevie, and green. Stevie, you, Rhett really lost the game, but you're the one who has to be punished with, with annoying sounds. Yeah. Well, blue I, and green. I think based on like far away whispering and little chuckles that they were going to try and surprise me with my punishment. So I've been on edge this entire time. Oh, but uh, now, you're trying not to toot. How did you, you got good balance on that thing because. Uh, it's just surprising. Maybe the wetness. Is oh, God. <laughs> I think Stevie was just murdered. <laughs> Do you have such good balance because Cassie, what just happened? Cassie has a balance board? <laughs> no, I was gonna say my wet socks. Did you get? Did you just get pummeled with uh, like <gasps> pat, padded punchings? I think that's punchings? probably balloons. Being I don't. What was that, Chase? Just balloons. Oh, oh a lot kind of, of balloons were behind me. Okay. Um, and no, I I'm not very good at the balance board. Um, so green, green for science. Why is Blue that? You didn't feel that? Like if you were to envision the word science and and it was on like one of those boards that the teachers make, you know, that has like the borders on it. And it's like, science, welcome. Yeah, I can see that. And again, I, I think there's a reason for these associations that's more practical. And I think it's a lot of science books in early elementary school have a picture of the earth on them and it's blue and green. And Chase so, made the point too, if you get a bunch of colored binders and you assign one per subject, then wouldn't you put the green binder with science? Which no. the answer is yes. No, mm -hmm. I would put the green binder with uh, English, and the blue with science, and the red with math. Oh, my red, my math was red. Yeah, my red math was red. Well, okay. I agree that math is red. Math but is we'll have okay. to disagree. Agree to disagree on another one. Red. I always made my red binder math, and n we never talked about this. What is psychology? Yellow, light blue, light blue, light blue. Yeah, just faint, like sky blue. I didn't know that was an option. Mm. I also agree with that. I can see that. I feel that. Um, okay. Energy, energy. You know, there's there's people who are in touch with energy, and I've I've just never been one of those people. What but day? I like people who are sensitive to energy. It's nice to have them around. What day of the week has the same energy as the fall season? This I don't understand. Oh, no. Okay, what day of the week makes you associate with fall? Huh, interesting. I know. Wow. What? Wow. This is weird how strong this feels. You're, you're getting a strong energy field? Yeah, when I really think about it. Is it, are you feeling Thursday? Oh, Wednesday. Oh, well, no. Feeling Thursday. Thursday, apparently. Yeah, it's Thursday, right. I, I, I hang around people who are sensitive to the energy and it's starting to rub off on me. You know something that won't rub off? The design of this mug. Well, uh, actually, but it, if you wash it, it might. <laughs> uh, that is not true. You, you, can, you can wash it. You I can thought, dishwash it. You can dishwasher it. You can dishwash the one, the color yeah. changing one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, you think we're going to sell a mug that you can't wash in the dishwasher? I thought that the dish, the, the one that Maybe. changed, that changed uh, colors, I mean, you, you might not be able to do heat that. Heat activated no, mug, you put hot hot liquids in this and it reveals this and it starts out like that. So it starts out like that, it reveals this, and if you look at that, it starts out like that and then it ends up like this, nice and hot. Of course, my, my mug is full of hot beverage today. When we got the, uh, the, the sample, um, 
heat activated mug uh-huh. that we were exploring had a rocket ship on it. And I put that thing in the dishwasher repeatedly to see if anything was going to happen. And it oh, really? did not happen. And yeah. it, but it changed colors in the dishwasher. If does Maybe. it does it when no one's there to see it? Does it still reveal the design in the dishwasher? That's a good question. I know what I'm getting confused. It was the color changing T-shirt that we have for the society, where you went out into the sun and the and the logo came up. If you watch that, it's screwed. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. I mean, maybe if you put it in the dishwasher. Cassie's having us wash, hand wash all mugs that are not like mass produced ceramic, which is her new thing. I've been dishwashing all of our mugs forever, but she's recently decided it's bad for the nicer mugs to go in hold, the dishwasher. For mugs that you've already put through the dishwasher? Yes. Yeah, that's yeah. M- maybe a new designer mug, but no, not ones that have already been through. Designer mug. <laughs> You, you, you don't know about the designer mugs? <laughs> no. What specific Check office? Check out that guy. I drew a four-eyed chicken man oh, that's with spiky hair. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give him a, a nice goozle thing. What's that thing that comes off of the... It's a four-eyed cockatrice head. Look at that. Talk about branding. What, what specific office supply item has the same energy as girls named Madison. Um, well, it, could it be a paper clip? Well, don't say it out loud now. Well, I'm sorry to give away my energy so easily. Yeah, I'm trying to tap into energy. I don't want to be... Madison. Okay. Uh, office supply? Um... Okay. Oh, we both said the same thing. Stapler. Stapler. Mm, no. Thin purple mechanical what about pencils. Cheeseburger. <laughs> Thin purple mechanical pencils. Yeah. I kind of get that one. If I feel like yeah. Okay, we're gonna go yes. Uh, what article of clothing has the same energy as guys named? <laughs> oh! They waited. She's, they waited. They got you. She's definitely dead this time. Jesse. Guy's named Jesse. Yeah. Clothing item. Article of clothing. Uh, that guy right there. My four-eyed chicken man smoking a fat spliff now. <laughs> it could be fatter. Okay. Again, this is this came pretty strong, but I have no confidence in myself anymore. Are you going to guess? What? Article of clothing that has the same energy as guys named Jesse. Uh, okay, got it. Tank top. I said white V-neck tee. Mm. Oh, very close. Blue jeans. Bl- That's kind of generic. The name Everybody ones, wears blue jeans. The name ones are hard for me. I, I don't get the name ones as much as I get like the color science thing. And this this is a good one. Um, what fruit has the same energy as a Monday? Monday fruit. Hmm. Okay. Uh, it took a second to get there, but I, it Monday. felt like it locked in. Uh, that one. The tomato? Well, yeah, I was drawing an apple. But I, it I said like apple. A, it looks like a tomato, yeah, but it's I apple. said apple. It's okay. apple. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So, I get that one. Wow, we got that one. Apple is Monday. Yeah. Because this it, one, it's kind of... You're not excited about it when it comes around. Yeah, and it's kind of all business. It's a, you're like, ah, okay, I I feel like I understand this. You're and the I feel furthest like I away from it. the weekend looking forward into the future. Apple's the worst fruit. We all know that. Okay, this one is a fill-in-the-blank situation. You're going to fill in the blanks with adjectives. Warm water is blank, and cold water is 
blank. Adjectives? Yeah. Warm water is blank. And cold water is blank. Warm water is soft, cold water is hard. Same thing. Yeah, pretty close. Warm water is round and cold water is sharp. Yeah, oh. I was gonna say pointy. I, I did have a pointy. Wow, that's cool. In mind. Wow. Okay, here is your final question. What number has the same energy as the word fox? Is this just a number between one and 10? Between one and 1,000. Fox. You've done it before, Rhett. What do they call you? Number psychic? Fox. Between one and 1,000. Fox. Fox. I don't, Fox. Just give me a second, because I feel like, I, I, again, I feel like I gotta tap into something. Huh? Okay. I've got my, got my number. Okay. I said Fox was three. I said Fox was 957. No. Oh, you've, you've fallen off the wagon. I, apparently I don't have this ability. 406. <laughs> you were closer than I was. I kept course, repeating it in probably. my head over and over again, thinking that oh, like last time. Oh, I just tapped into a number yeah. that you were thinking. Well, yeah. th this makes sense. 406 looks like F-O-X. Fox. Yeah, see, I was I was picturing a fox, like the animal in my mind. I had written it. about the word. Maybe, I, mean, I, don't, maybe, I don't know what the, uh, I don't know. What, what kind of energy does this guy have? If he were a toothpaste or what, what? What what hot household if you item were a energy? Toothpaste. He's definitely aqua fresh. <laughs> what toothpaste would this be? He's definitely aqua fresh. Aqua fresh, you want me to draw an aqua fresh in his hand? Boy. Can't wait to see how this turns out. There it is. What does the fox say? Add some scientific magic to your mythical mug collection with the GMM heat activated mug available now at mythical.com.